a helpless child clinging to its mother. Unlike antelopes or wildebeests who ran within hours, these infants remained dependent for years. Carried everywhere, through forests, across rivers, into trees, the infant's world was its mother's body. Every cry, every whimper carried a cost. Predators heard opportunity in every sound. Protection was never one mother's burden. The group moved as one shield. Infancy demanded vigilance, every step, every shadow. a test of survival. Foraging slow. Food gathering was done with one hand always full, with life itself. Progress waited for infants. The pace of survival bent to the rhythm of care. Where others raced, these children lingered. Helplessness stretched into years. But this slowness allowed something extraordinary, the brain to grow larger, more complex. Play became practice. Mistakes became lessons. Childhood became the school of humanity. Bonding was built in touch. Trust was shaped in every caress, every sound. To be apart, even for a heartbeat, was to face danger. Even storms became trials in care. Care spread beyond mothers. Brothers, sisters, and fathers all became guardians. Shared care created bonds. Bonds grew into families. Cooperation grew in the space between mothers and infants. Play wasn't wasted time. It rehearsed skills for survival. Pride emerged. Recognition fed learning. 
Learning Fed Culture. Every step forward carried the hope of a species. From helplessness came endurance. From endurance came intelligence. Night was the hardest. Silence meant safety, but babies rarely stayed silent. Mothers gave their bodies, their energy, their very survival to their young. Even males began to share care. Provision was a quiet form of love. Laughter was new. Joy became glue for groups. Childhood was fragile, but it was also the forge of community. Every migration was slowed by children, but every child was worth slowing for. Sound became comfort. Comfort became memory. Memory became culture. Care shaped humanity as much as tools or fire. Infants explored through touch. Curiosity was born in their hands. Every action became lesson. Every lesson carried forward, children demanded sacrifice, and sacrifice united the group. To shield the young was to preserve the future. Sleep was guarded. Rest was a shared duty. Even fragility brought joy. Care carried laughter as much as weight. Children learned language by mimicry. Words began in play. Bond was not abstract. It was heartbeat against heartbeat. No child survived alone. Humanity was raised by many. Childhood became experiment. Curiosity became invention. Even wonder began in infancy. The sky entered through children's eyes, and in every moment of rest lay the promise of tomorrow. Mothers learned to balance two worlds, feeding themselves while never straying far from their young. Older siblings became teachers, their play a bridge into survival. Nature's moods were merciless, but care adapted. Shelter grew from necessity. Even storms became lessons. To a child, every drop was discovery. Play wasn't random, it was training for dangers they would one day face. Soothing sounds laid the first foundation for music, memory, and meaning. Curiosity was relentless. Objects became tools in small, clumsy hands. Movement was always slow, but survival marched to the pace of children. Children transformed groups into families and families into fortresses. Even the smallest actions became seeds of culture. Warmth, touch, and light became the safest lullabies. No one ate alone. To feed a child was to feed the future. Every stumble was met with patience. Patience became tradition. Games of sound and rhythm may have sparked the roots of language. Infancy was fragile, yet in this fragility lay strength. Not every child survived. Grief carved deep bonds in those who remained. But each survival, each small triumph, carried the weight of hope. Shared motherhood forged ties stronger than blood. Learning through imitation made every child a student of survival. Together, they carried not just children, but the story of humanity. Illness was a constant threat, but care gave a fighting chance. Even water brought risk and laughter in equal measure. Rest was rare, but when it came, it came with peace. Terrain mattered little. Children were never left behind. Children taught wonder, showing adults the world anew. Communication began not with words, but with laughter and mimicry. 
Every child was a reason to fight, and fight they did. Comfort wasn't luxury, it was survival. Curiosity pulled the future forward, one grasp at a time. The night belonged to predators, but families walked together as light. Conflict began in childhood. So did the first lessons in peace. Failure wasn't weakness, it was practice wrapped in play. Every sign of death sharpened the will to live. Love was not spoken, it was carried in touch. Even grooming became lesson. Care was culture passed hand to hand. Innovation grew from need. Straps, carriers, slings, born from motherhood. The first drums may have been children at play. Silence was survival. Music was medicine. In children's eyes, fire became more than heat. It became vision. Raising children didn't just shape families. It shaped humanity.